I was watching this video, my honest advice for somebody looking to get into shape, and if I had to do it all over again, every season you gotta do it all over again. There's 21 days to summer, let's see how we do. Have you ever looked at yourself in the mirror and wondered how it would feel to become shredded like this guy? I can tell you that it's a major confidence booster. There are many variables that come into play, and you have to be determined, disciplined, and have vision. If you're not on point, you could be yo-yoing. Sometimes when you put in half of the effort, you don't even get half of it. But you do get 100% frustration. Like I said, there's 21 days left. Set a goal. Set some guidelines. Weekly goal. Monthly goal. All right, let's get it. Eat all of your cravings. You're probably surprised you didn't expect me to say that. If you want to eat cake, cookies, ice cream, eat all of it. And then record yourself while you're doing it and take pictures and post it up on so that other people can see what you're doing. This will give you uh, some sort of, uh, it'll get rid of your cravings so that you're not thinking about it while you're on the cut. When you feel guilty and sick, you will have the will to change. Listen to motivational speakers like Brandon Carter or other YouTubers online to prime your brain, to reprogram your mind. You can listen to these all day, every day. Whatever challenges you have, look it up on YouTube. Track your weight. I have a scale. It syncs everything to an application that's called Withings. If you don't have that, write it down, take a picture. Your weight, it doesn't tell the whole story because... That's more about body composition. I could be 170 sloppy or I could be 170 stocked. Track your sleep. Make sure you're getting at least seven to eight hours of sleep. If you need to catch up on the weekends, take some naps. But be aware that if you get bad sleep, it could affect your testosterone for the next day. It affects your mood. It affects a lot of things. Your stress. Track your macros. You can do something like carnivore diet or keto and try to eat real foods. Don't be eating a processed cakes and cookies and donuts. You could track your water intake. This is something I have to do. Get a couple gallons of water and drink those throughout the day. Take pictures of your food so you know what you're eating. Condiments, the drinks, all of that. Even when you're tracking your food, you can forget the barbecue sauce or the mayonnaise that you put on it. Just be aware of what you're doing. Buy a fitness tracker. You could buy a band, Apple Watch, Android Watch. You could buy a ring. This tracks your calories that you're burning so that you can subtract it from your macros. You could check your calorie deficit. You could get a Notion or tracker. This is going to show daily habits of things that you have to do, such as your supplements, your sleep, your workouts. You could journal eat real food you can use this nutrition x database to get nutritional labels sometimes when you're meal prepping it's easier in a sense that if you keep it simple you get the weight you get the nutrition the macros the fats the proteins the carbs and then you divide it up into however many servings you package it up that way you're not snacking when you're cooking you know what you're eating before you're going to eat it plan out your meal the day before you can use google docs google sheets Try not to drink calories if you can. Drink water, black coffee, teas. I haven't been drinking protein shakes because i just been focusing on my food. But if you need a little boost, normally I don't eat breakfast. I'll eat lunch and or dinner. And when I say and or, I mean I'll just eat one big meal and then I'm done. You could go for a walk or a jog. There's little to no recovery time if you walk. Anybody can do it. Get your little workouts in. It doesn't matter what you do. You could jump rope, pull a bar, air squats, push-ups, sit-ups, basics. Be consistent. You'll be doing these every day. Plan out your finances so you know what you need. You know what you could do. If you need any supplements or any equipment, uh, you'll have the ability to do that. Don't buy any junk food. Cut out or limit your time with people who have bad habits. Maybe it's an environment. Don't go to the clubs or buffets don't buy junk food or if you have housemates tell them to put it away there will be a couple of times where i already ate and i had to tell certain people i can't eat with you because i already have my caloric intake it is what it is certain people that want you to hang out with them and eat with them because it's a joyful event 
Uh, just be clear and focus on your journey, where you want to go. You are who you associate. With. And if you hang out with unhealthy people, you could be the next one. Summer is coming up, 21 days, like blackjack. Be comfortable with being uncomfortable. You could do OMAD. You could do every other day. Some days I'll fast. Some days it's a waste of time. If you're only eating one meal a day or if you're fasting, you're not wasting your time cooking, cleaning, buying, going to the bathroom, those kinds of things. Extra flossing and I have Invisalign. Can't, if, if I were to snack, I'd have to, to clean those stuff. 5-2 diet, you eat five days a week. Two days, you're only eating 500 calories or just don't eat anything on those days. Monday, Tuesdays, those normally work best for me. Get busy working on your projects. I use the ECA stack. I've been on it for about a week now. I'll be doing it for the rest of the three weeks to see how it goes. First quarter, I was yo-yoing. I wasn't on point with my diet. Be in a deficit of 3,500 calories, which is a pound, 500 a day. Sometimes it's easier just not to eat for two days to hit that mark. I'm not very patient. I like to do things extreme, but just know over the course of time that it's better to be consistent and do things slow. One gram of carb or protein is four calories. One gram of fat is nine. That means that one gram of fat is essentially eating two grams of carbs and proteins. Just think of it that way. You can eat more carbs and proteins. When you're planning out your macros, just try and hit your protein. One gram of protein per body weight. It's like a puzzle. Protein and fats keep you satiated. Carbs can be empty. For example, I could eat a whole box of cereal. That's not a good thing. Don't go into those aisles. Stay on the outside. Don't waste your money. If you live with other people, ask them to put that stuff away. Uh, plan out what you're going to eat for the week. For example, I cooked a pot of food. It was I bought a 10 pound of ground beef. It was $35. And I put that in shrimp, broccoli, egg whites. Pretty cheap. Not very expensive for the week. Pick your plan. Try and see what works. Fast or hard or slow and steady. You can do anything, whatever you want. Try to see what works best for you, what fits your lifestyle. There's tons of fitness workouts on YouTube. You can use machine, cardio. You can use free weights, calisthenics, your body weight, whatever works. Cold showers, go for a run, take a cold shower to cool off. If you want a sauna, that's cool. It's good for your skin. You exfoliate your skin. If you don't have a sauna, chill in the sun, go to the beach, go for a walk. Take a drive, have your windows up, no AC. I don't mimic a sauna. Walking is easy to do and it requires little to no recovery time. You could get a desk treadmill or a desk bike. I'll be looking into those in a couple months. Calisthenics, weights, machines, compound movements such as squats. You could do a squat and then you could do a shoulder raise, things like that. Combine movements. The bigger the muscle, the more energy that's going to consume. You get more for your buck. Look into equipment or supplements. Be willing to invest into yourself like audiobooks or maybe your mental health. Atomic Habits is a good book. The New Psychology of Winning is a good book. Use YouTube motivational tracks. Take daily pictures, videos, post your status, and people will hold you accountable. They say that when you're being observed, you will be more on point and you'll make better progress. You'll work harder. Focus on your sleep, your hygiene, build better habits, budget the hours in your day. Set Google Calendar events for your workouts, the time that you're going to sleep. Want to take your supplements, structure it out. Be aware of your time, your money. Set sprint goals. Have an accountability partner, somebody like you, somebody who you could talk to, to bounce ideas off of. Try out new activities such as martial arts, dancing, hiking on meetup.com. Go for a walk in the morning, a jog jump rope, push up sit up air squats join a local gym people that lie to you or they're nice to you they may or may not be your friends you could lie to yourself but deep down you know in your heart what you should be doing you have to be hungry and find the spark to light the fire on your behind solve your problems so that you can solve other people's problems solve your problems now so you can move on to something else 
your story and your background, they're unique. Everybody's different. Everybody has a different body type, metabolism, age, culture, those kinds of things. You'd have to figure it out. Your problems could be very similar to other people's problems throughout time. Document your journey. Don't ego lift. If you're tired, listen to your body. Relax. Make sure you increment slowly with the weights. One time I was doing deadlifts, squats, and shoulder shrugs. I was tired and I slipped my disc. I was out for a year and a half. Don't let that be you. You can use a belt. And I wish you well on your journey. I'll see you guys in 21 days. We'll see what's up. Please like, share, and subscribe if you want more content like this. I hope you guys get it this summer.